All right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun Moon and as well rising, a weekly love and relationship tarot reading, uh, January 13th to January 19th, uh, 2020. And uh, if you guys are interested into uh, scheduling a private reading with me, uh, you can check out the description uh, down below. And uh, there you're gonna find a link to my website from which you can do so. Uh, so that being said, moving next uh, to the reading, the first card which is going to show up the uh, topic for a Pisces Love and Relationship Week, that is going to be the Three of Cups, followed by the next one here which represents the energies feeding and supporting the topic, uh, that is going to be um, the Queen of Wands. Third one is going to be about the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. That will be the Knights of Wands. Followed by the next one, which represents the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy and you should enjoy, of course, throughout the week. That is going to be the Two of Pentacles. Um, next one, it is how other people see you. And that is very, very important card here. We have the Magician. So how your person of interest is going to see you, uh, how your family, friends, uh, beloved ones, and so on and so forth. Again, the Magician. Next one, um, what is going to help your long-term love and relationship go? Another very important card here. We do have the world. Followed by the next one, uh, which is what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal, that is going to be the Two of Wands. And the last one here, which is the guidance that Saro is offering to you, uh, we do have the judgment for what it seems. Uh, that is a pretty big one for you, Pisces. I mean, very, very important week. It is what you do have in terms of love and relationship. And uh, the reading itself, uh, it kind of refers or manifests in a slightly different way, depending on what kind of a stage you are into your relationship, all right? Are you in the beginning, in the middle, or in the ending stage of one relationship? So let's go through the first cup of cards here. Uh, Three of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So we do have, once again, the energies and the topic, the team. So... Um, these two cards are referring to the adequate uh, actions and decisions you have recently made in order to have the things the way that is going to benefit you the most into your current relationship or into your current interactions. Therefore, it does look like that throughout this week, January 13th to January 19th, whatever you have worked for career uh, relationship-wise, is going to start manifesting itself. Now, needless to say that throughout this relation, throughout this week, uh, those who want to make a deeper commitment, meaning marriage, meaning um, conceiving, right? uh, meaning engagement, uh, they have a very big chance to accomplish that deed uh, due to the energies pointing that you will know what to do in order to compel, for example, your partner to propose you, to, you know, conceive, if this is what you are after, or to have a beneficial divorce, for example. That's why these cards refer in a different way, depending on what kind of a stage you are into uh, your relationship life. For example, those who are single with those cards, they will have the adequate presence to catch the eye of someone that can offer them a future, meaning that whatever archetype or a type of person or personality you like, your presence, the way you dress, the way you do your makeup, the way you act, and in general, the, may, the way you present yourself is going to attract as such, okay? You want improve it, improvement into your relationship, the way you perform in it, the way you tackle with the responsibilities in it, you know, and the way you treat your partner is going to give you the prerequisites to do so, to grow into your relationship, and so on and so forth. So it does depend what your goal is. The whole point with those cards, it is that you did the right thing to uh, proceed further into that goal recently, and now it's time where the results are going to start bare. 
at uh, this week, January 13th to January 19th. But generally with those two cards, uh, Pisces, it does look like the happy, happy times are in front of you in term of a love and relationship. Not to mention that especially for those singles here, it does look like that not just only you are going to have someone to attract someone who is your archetype, physically, I mean handsome in your eyes physically, but also that person is going to share your emotional state, meaning, you know, whatever emotional uh, flow you do have is going to be mutual. And as well, you're going to share a similar vision, meaning, you know, your interests are going to be similar, your expectations are going to be similar, and that will take place as well into a existing relationship where we do have an alignment, kind of like synergy in between the expectations and the vision of the two beloved ones. So the other card here, it is uh, the challenges that you need to overcome, and that is going to be the other person that you are tackling with. Now, we do have the Knights of Wands. Now, I don't know how big challenge that is in reality, because that card points that that person itself, it's very enterprising, and as well, it is determined to do what it takes in order to see the things going through. Now, pro the problem, they don't know how. And that's why some of their actions, some of their moves may not make sense at all. As a matter of fact, they may kind of drive you crazy. You know, you may want to put out your head throughout the window and scream, oh my God, I just cannot take it anymore, all right? But you need to know that they're not doing it intentionally to aggravate you. It is just, once again, they don't know what to do in order to for example, and throw you even further or to please you even further and so on and so forth. So don't get yourself mad at them, but instead talk with them, okay? Try peacefully to explain yourself and to explain uh, what you are expecting, for example, and how you're planning to do it. And that is going to ease the hectic, the you know, hectic, hectic, wavering and the inconsistency of the Knight of Wands. So we are going to the next one here, which is uh, the gifts and the blessings, Pisces, that you are going to enjoy throughout the week. Now we do have the Two of Pentacles. Uh, not very big gifts and blessings, but that is kind of understandable. It is because it does look like that you already have a lot in your benefit here, just from the topic and the energies. So as the gifts and the blessings, this card offers you um, even, even more room to expand. It is just what it says, okay? So in the very last minute, you have the luxury to uh, change a little bit your plan, okay? To, ch to change a little bit your strategy, for example. Say you're planning to go on a um, on a date with someone you like and you have the luxury here in the very last minute, for example, to change the menu, to change the restaurant, and that is not going to be taken as a uh, as a bad thing, but instead is going to be taken as a, a pleasant surprise. So you can be a bit creative with your interaction, you know, with your person of interest or with your beloved one. Now, the next one, it is how people are seeing you, and that is a very, very important. We do have the Magician card. So this is one of the best cards into that position, or this is at least the way something that it is best for me now. People were seeing you exactly for who you are. Therefore, the one that you are interacting with, they have a complete awareness that you are never going to change, okay? And if they are signing for something, they are signing for you and not for someone that they want you to be. Okay, so if someone wants to be with you, you need to know throughout this week, you need to know that they love you or like you for who you are and they have no delusions whatsoever for anything that is to happen in the future. Additionally to that, I'm sorry, people were going to see you with high amounts of personal independence and sovereignty. Therefore, it is highly unlikely that you are going to be... Uh, cornered with your back against the wall being blackmailed, for example. Okay. And also, lastly, people are going to see you as a, someone who likes to talk in a sense of that someone who likes to resolve issues instead of, you know, raging and bursting out and kind of making drama all over the place with a calm and peaceful, rather civilized conversations.
Now, the next one, uh, it is uh, what can help your long-term love and relationship go, Pisces, and that is the world card. Well, pretty much this card tells us only one thing, you know, finish what you have started or, in other words, seal the deal. You know, you are in a marriage or someone proposes you, well, say yes, okay? Uh, you conceive, well, by the child, all right? It's just whatever happens throughout this week, you got to see it through the end, okay? So you date with someone, well, that card here means that with this someone, you are going to have a long-lasting relationship. If you play once again your cards right, you are not drama queen, but you rather talk about the issues, all right? Uh, you show yourself rather versatile in a sense of uh, tackling responsibilities in one relationship. And as well, you share emotional and um, kind of like a, a material future, like interests and all those kind of things. And you present yourself as who you really are. You don't try to be liked for what you are not. Okay, so next one, it is uh, what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. And it is exactly the opposite of the world card. So we do have the two of wands. And this card points, especially love and relationship, of demands and trying to have the things exactly your way. No different than uh, this kind of relationship where one is smothered beneath the thaw and when the other person says, bark, you just do it, okay? So that being said, you should not be unreasonable. And as you are taken as for who you are, you also need to make an effort here to accept the person for what that person is. Meaning you want to be loved, that's great. I mean, you're gonna be loved with all of your pros and cons, but you have to do the same, okay? So that card here points that you should, uh, how can I say it? Uh, you should be tolerant. That is the whole point. Being intolerant to the uh, ways of the other person, either person of interest or either your husband or a wife or your beloved one, is only going to de deteriorate your relationship. And the last card that we do have, it is uh, the guidance that Taro is offering. And this is where I said conceiving. It's because the judgment card, it could mean that birth and rebirth. All right. So it's kind of like it could be the, the conceiving on ch of child throughout this week. Also, the judgment card, it is about union and reunion. But above everything else, it is about the wake-up call. That being said, you have to follow your, um, I don't know how to say it, instincts maybe. Uh, just to give you an example here, uh, you know, you date with someone, but you are kind of like having it, you know, whatever. And one morning you wake up and you just say, oh my God, I really have something for that person. Well, follow that something. Don't try to, op to suppress it. Don't try to smother it. Don't try to muffle it. All right, just, just follow it. But the judgment um, in a love and relationship, it's the, it, it kind of points that, and not just only in relationship, in the grand scheme of things, it does point that the shaft falls into the hub, meaning everything falls into place. And if something happens, through, uh, whatever happens to you, Pisces, throughout this week, that is very meaningful and it, it has its outlook, if you will, for your future. The people you meet, the people you date with, the people you have sex with, the people you marry, the people you say yes as well, they are all meaningful for your future development. And you should attend to, to them, even if that is just only one person. So um, what my point here is that if someone approaches you throughout this week and say, hey, I love you, that really means he loves you. And not just only he loves you because you're pretty, but he loves you for who you are as a whole. And I do believe that such guy or a girl, it does deserve a chance. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, if you are interested in a personal reading, you can check the description down below. And uh, there you are going to find a link to my website from which you can I, uh, purchase one personal reading. So... Hopefully we're going to see each other around and until then, bye.